Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. This time we're going ahead uh, with the next figure in the Gaming Greats line. Uh, once again, this is available in EB Games in Canada, uh, GameStop in the US, and Zing Pop Culture here in Australia, um, which is a subsidiary of our EB Games. So, um, yeah, we're going with the Heavy Battle Droid from Battlefront 2. Uh, looking pretty, pretty awesome. Don't worry, we'll get a better look out of the box in a moment. It's got this sort of orangey brown down the side. A bit of a bio at the back. Now, I, was, I was really excited for this one because um, the heavy troopers are my go-to faction, or not faction, but class in uh, Battlefront 2. So I do end up using this guy quite a lot. So I'm excited to to get this guy and pack him out with some hardcore weapons. Um, and yeah, for the most part, it is just a repaint of the battle droid, the Phantom Menace battle droid that came out maybe a year and a half ago, a year ago. Um, but otherwise, let's get up close and have a good look at it. All right, and here we have the heavy battle droid out of his packaging. Man, this is a sweet looking droid. Um, I love the colors on this one. It's like a mix of Geonosis and some like just really dark gunmetal grays, um, like from a super battle droid or something. This is really, really cool. I love the look of the battle droid, um, always have. Um, I know we're, we've get, we're getting uh, Geonosis sort of colored battle droids in the next, in the next wave, perhaps, um, of regular Black Series. So I'm excited to get a couple of them. Uh, I might only just stick with the one of this guy. If I find one for a reasonable price, I may grab another. But uh, yeah, this this one is a damn cool looking droid. Um, he comes with a good assortment of weapons. He does come with this one here. Um, he also comes with just his standard uh, battle droid blaster. It's, there's no detail on that, but it does have the peg. Uh, that does sort of clip onto the backpack there. Just like in the movie. It does come with a big first order heavy cannon. But uh, I, by, by now, I'm sure we've all got like a box of extra weapons, especially those who've been collecting Black Series loose for a while. Um, we should have boxes of loose weapons um, that we could mix and match with this guy. Also, the backpack is removable and is replaceable with just this sort of standard antenna which does slot in there nicely um, it is funny because uh, the, the whoever does the Hasbro photos of these antennas on the backpack also move up and down whoever did the uh, photos the glamour shots for the release from Hasbro actually just stuck that in there and thought that was <laughs> that was how it goes that cracked me up <laughs> um, but yeah those I think it's just that first one comes up a little bit and that one comes up like that so he's looking good I like the details nice battle damage there all the greys and chipped away paint looks so good it's all over du, 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 du. down the back not so much on the back but battle droids shouldn't be running away from battle, they're expendable. Unless you're those silly battle droids from the Clone Wars. Not the head. Uh, articulation is just outstanding on this thing. You can fold them up, fold them completely down. Um, I'm not going to do that. I did do that in my review of the regular battle droids. You can go back and have a look at that. Where I, I'm pretty sure I folded it all up um, to get him into his really sort of compact folded up position. Um, articulation's really, really good. He has this is the ball and socket in there. He has the hinge on his battle droid mullet. He's got the hinge in the in the lower neck there. And that does pop up. And you can allow for that fold down, but I may need some warm water on it before I attempt to do that. Um, there's a ball and socket in the elbow there. And I think, again, that sort of arm band there does sort of rotate as well. Uh, there is a upper bicep swivel there. 
joint in the elbows or is that bicep? I can't remember body parts <laughs> the swivel there a hinge there at the wrist a swivel in the wrist there as well uh, there's a joint in the torso and you can just see in there there's a joint in the knees in the waist down the bottom there at the ankles so you get that sort of twisting sideways and then the rocker joint there as well no it doesn't rock it's just the ball hinge the awesome articulation for the battle droid I love this figure this is this could be going down as my favorite of the three at this stage he is cool let me know in the comments what you think below. Stay tuned because I've got the uh, Stormtrooper Commander coming up next. Till then, may the force be with you.